do that sync new hair new video Woo! hello welcome back what is the first product digital product you should be launching for your brand i don't care if you have a physical business if you're offering services if you are a freelancer if you are a a baker a hairdresser this is how you approach this question okay i'm gonna give you a sequence of mini exercises mini questions something quick and hands-on for you to answer this yourself without me giving you hacks quick tips things that are probably not gonna feed your reality okay only you know that let's take a critical look at this question okay so if you have zero authority which i think is a situation that is more common than not maybe you have a few followers and you can still follow this approach okay if you are confused if you are lost but you have the knowledge okay you might not have results to show but you have the knowledge you know what you are talking about you have people that you've helped maybe off the camera or before maybe you don't you might be thinking well if i have a physical business how am i gonna launch a digital product how does that fit my business model it is more common for service providers to have this question of i should probably launch something digital something that doesn't require my time it is less common even though it's the same exact question for people that own physical business to think that so that's your first question to answer should you be considering consultations services or immersions delivered digitally as an option if you have a physical business the question is probably yes you could be diversifying the experience of your business with a service or with consultations with immersions with workshops and you can deliver that to a group of people or individually okay a high ticket product that you will launch it's not something that you're gonna offer all the time you will launch that product digitally for people anywhere in the world or your target audience that's something that you have to think about and it has to be high ticket and what i recommend is that you calculate an hour you calculate how much profit you have to do you want to make out of that product and your budget i have to fix myself <laughs> but let's say that your schedule is already full because you are a service provider and here's the thing this is where i'm gonna give you the i hate my light this is where i'm gonna give you the mm, the little mm, okay <sighs> we've talked about this funnel i like to invert the funnel and make it a pyramid because it's just more poetic like that <laughs> on the top of the pyramid or at the bottom of the funnel if you want it to be a funnel and again i've talked about this i'm sorry if i'm repeating it for some you will have your high ticket product your immersions your mentorships your experiences your workshops everything that call and your services as well service is a high ticket it should be if you are Charging anything less than 3k on a very complicated service, unless it's something more, you know, like the last one hour. There are cases and cases, okay? I'm talking about thinking of like designers, web designers, um, ar architects, or lawyers. If 
that service is any less than 3,000, you already broke your entire strategy. You have to rethink things, okay? So that's the top of the pyramid. So if your schedule is full and you're not pricing it high ticket, I want you to raise your price, get rid of the people who are probably not only paying not enough, but also being a you're gonna make that schedule full again. Why? Because I want you to change your approach to how you work. You have to change your mindset as you change the value that you deliver and you have to go and watch my other videos if you wanna know how to do that. I think it's the first, 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 first video in the channel. Whatever, keep going. So if you're not with a full schedule, same advice, okay? It's an advice, you have to take it. No, you don't. You choose whether you take it or not. I'm not here to hammer your head with rules. I'm giving you a strategy. If, okay, you already have your schedule full, you've already got some amount of money, you got some cash flow, you got some room to breathe, then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take less clients and you're gonna produce what we call the bottom of the pyramid, you can add some hand, or the top of the funnel. So depending on how you're looking at it. And those are the basic foundational content that you should be offering to your audience. So that's, sort of the second product you're gonna choose to launch. A mini training, an ebook, a membership, if that's something that you want to do. It's a lot of commitment. I do not recommend usually people to have a membership. I have a membership planned, but not launched yet because I'm like, I'm gonna need a team just for that endeavor. <laughs> It's giving me time to plan it. If you go back, you will find, and you watch that video, I'm gonna, I, I, that became such a foundational video. I know I'm gonna be commenting on it. Every single other video that I make, I just know it. So get used to it, go watch it. And if you're arriving on this video, pause it. I'm probably gonna put cards here so you can access it easily, but anyway. And those products, they are, of a low entry barrier. We call them the open wallet products. What they do is that you, they tell your audience what you are trying to solve. So, and here this is where the strategy comes in, right? Because your product belt, your offer, your selection of offers, they are going to be, they have to make sense. They have to be point A to point B. If you're selling a web design, course you're not gonna teach your customer to do HTML you're not gonna teach your client to do that you're gonna teach your client maybe do a mini training on how to set up an easy elemental website so that when they've got the first results in sales with our website they come and hire you so the point is to create a relationship if you hear no from a client you can offer them the mini training, the course. Listen, if this is this makes sense to you, here is a mini training instead. Just an idea, okay? Because what you want is that client to come back to you. It's easier to sell to somebody who's already bought from you, right? Right? You've heard that before. I bet you did. But let's say that you are like me. Okay, I work with experts. Well, now let me explain to you. You are like me and I work with experts. I am my expert and my own producer. So when I produce for other people, there's two approaches to this. My internal approach and my external approach. What is my internal approach with my product belt? 
I am creating a product belt and I've talked about this before as well that not only takes people from A to B but in the middle I will find collaborators I will find people to work with me on projects why because they're gonna know how I work so if you're not if you're teaching your industry peers, this is a great opportunity to not only create community, but to find people to delegate to. Because you're always gonna be ahead, therefore you're always gonna be charging more, or you should be, than them. The external approach, so the B to C, is, oh my God, this is not for me, thinks the expert. I should work with her instead. I've gotten to a certain point where I can actually hire a producer to do all of this for me. Most likely that's your case. Most likely you are B2C and you are not teaching your peers. That's a very, the rain just stopped and it's so silent right now. That's a very specific situation and unusual even situation that i have going on for me so i understand that it might not be the same for you and you are most likely on that second case so think about the format what is the format that you think your potential clients might learn better faster and actually get results from is there an ideal order of products you are going to create to is there an ideal number even no no there isn't if your strategy is to sell only high tickets then you better have a really good free tier of content that will allow people to create results and buy from you because if you're serving only people who are ready to buy from you you are leaving that lifetime value in the trash you just throw it in the trash the rain started again that's it quicker video just wanted to get that one out and a reminder okay for you to visit my instagram and follow me there if you aren't already do all that stuff, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, bye. <laughs> Gab.